What's up guys? I'm super excited to be making this video because this is the highest requested thing that you guys have asked for and now I'm finally able to do it. Every single comment was how do you edit your videos? How do you do this? What camera are you using? How do you stabilize your shots? What is live? And so I've been reading all these comments and finally I'm making a video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe guys and I'll be giving you more content of what you guys want to see. One thing about me is that I love being creative in general. Whether that be filmmaking, graphic design, or just doing a lot of really cool stuff. Um, really expressing yourself in a form of art. Alright, so first I want to start off with what do I use? What's going to blow you away is that I use my iPhone 7 to film everything. That's right, everything I've been doing so far has been with my iPhone 7. I don't have no big budget camera, no expensive this or that. I mean, soon I'll be able to work my way up there, but for right now, I'm starting off, is I just film with my iPhone 7. The really cool thing that I love about using this is that anyone can film an adventure, whether you're on the go or you're just on your phone. Now, what I use to stabilize my shots is a DJI Osmo Mobile. So I use this to stabilize all my shots to get those beautiful looks from panning left to right, up and down, well, I'll be walking and you wouldn't even know, or I'll even be running. <laughs> All I do is lock in my iPhone 7 right here. If you see that, I'll be moving left and right, running, just imagine. And what it does is it stabilizes my shots. Now, I did buy this on Amazon. It's around $400, uh, but I think it's worth every bit. It gives me the exact quality and content that I'm looking for. The only con that I would say is that um, it does die quickly. I do use the regular video app that Apple does come with. It is not in the highest quality, but it does make it really simple for me. There is apps like Filmbic Pro. This app, Filmbic Pro, is definitely a great thing to utilize if you really do want a higher quality than what the average iPhone camera gives. You're able to adjust the exposure, the focus, as well as the color correcting all in just this one app as well as it can give you 4k slow motion all in a more defined and detailed way to exactly what you're looking for so dji does come with an app so you can uh, synchronize these together um, but it does again just work with the regular iphone camera app okay so what i use to edit my videos and just compile them all together is so i use a macbook pro and the software that i use is Final Cut Pro X. Now the awesome part about working with Apple uh, is that everything can synchronize pretty well. All the footage I take, all I have to do is just airdrop it from my phone to my computer and it's as simple as that. Final Cut Pro X is where, I, is where I'm able to color correct as well as add those beautiful transitions, compile and edit everything together. For the videos that I come out with, I personally like to edit to the beat. What I do is I have my Spotify and I pick music that I enjoy as well as I try to find non-copyrighted music as well. Normally it takes me three to four hours to compile a great video or an episode that I come out with on Adventures with Eli. The planning process. Everything that I do is pretty spontaneous, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the only thing that I do have planned out with is who I'm going to hang out with and where we're going to kind of go. I know a lot of my videos are in California because that's where I live, uh, but I can't wait to expand and explore new places. The awesome part about it is that I always ask my friends too, like, have you heard anything new? Where's a cool place to go? And so it's all just finding a time and a day where I have made it my personal mission this year is to go on an adventure once a week. So that's what I'll be doing and that's why you will be getting content that comes out about once a week. Now when I film my adventure, I always have to keep my music montages in mind. So I want to make sure that I get those beautiful shots to really capture the environment and the area. You always want to go with a wide shot, a medium shot, and a tight shot. So a wide shot is always usually in an establishing shot so I can show you guys where you are where we're heading to and then a medium shot shows like a more of in a sense of like friends hanging out or a close-up shot of like who's in the shot as well as the tight shot is maybe if I have food or what's going on it's always great to cut between these shots because it, it gives you a variety of looks that you want then of course you got to get those creative shots those creative shots are those types where it's panning left to right or it's moving back and forth or your subject on the shot is in a sense this beautiful tree 
or the food that you have in front of you. So what I do is I also get my transitions. Uh, there's plug-in transitions that you can buy to just help make everything a little bit smoother and faster. I get most of my transitions at pixelfilmstudio.com and that's also where I am able to add a filter on top of my footage that really gives me that Instagram vintage type feel. So this is pretty much the simple steps that I take when I film and make all of my videos here for Adventures with Eli. And try to push for creative content. Because the more creative you are, the more that it shows your personality. And the more it makes like your own you. Like you are you. <laughs> make sure at the end of this video, please give a big thumbs up if you like what you see. Um, comment down below if you know any cool places that I should travel to or content that you want to see. I really would love to hear from you guys. I know I'm starting off. I don't have that many subscribers. I don't have that. I don't have a big budget film, but I really do love creating this kind of stuff for you, whether it's two people who watch or a hundred or even a thousand. So here's a little video that I've compiled together from an old throwback that I went on with my friend Sammy. We did this hike a while ago on the coast of California. And so from making this video, I thought I'd compile this footage together to kind of show you what I've done to do this. Say what's up, Eli. 